when it comes to the great meat vegan debate. But I just want to try to put a light on it to share with you all so you can make your own informed opinion on things. Okay, so with that, we're going to cover the habit roll call after we check in live with everybody. And after, But first, the science you should know about. Alrighty, in the science you should know about vegans, 43% more likely to suffer broken bones than meat eaters, Oxford study finds. A study by academics at Oxford University found out that vegans have more than double the risk of suffering a broken hip than meat eaters, with the affliction common in older people, especially women. So that is some news you can use right there, some science to know about. Let me share you share with you now some of the words throughout that study. But what we're finding here is that there are vegans possibly with more broken bones. In the study, vegan diets more than doubled the risk of broken hips. Warren, the new research study of more than 50,000 British people tracked over two decades, found giving up animal flesh weakens bones and can trigger osteoporosis. Compared with people who ate meat, fish scientists found out that with the, the excuse me scientists found that those with lower calcium and protein intake were especially prone to hip, leg, and spinal fractures. Dr. Tong, who kind of led the study, says the study shows vegans who, on average, had lower BMI as well as lower intake of calcium and protein than meat eaters had higher risk of fractures at several sites. So this is something we tend to talk about a lot here getting enough protein in. Yes, most of America does not have protein deficiency, but that doesn't mean that you don't have a wealth of protein, an abundance. And yes, you can overdo it, I suppose, but it's much harder to overdo your protein than you would think because you get so full from eating it. So it's like you can't really like poison yourself from having too much protein. All righty, moving over to the next little statement here on that uh, study, vegetarians and vegans generally have lower BMI than meat eaters. This is associated with a higher risk of hip fractures and low intake of calcium and protein have both li been linked to poorer bone health. Vegans will make the debate perhaps that because the BMI in the meat eaters is bigger, they have more padding, more cushion around their bones. And so when they fall, they're less likely to break a bone. However, uh, I think there's definitely more to it than that when you think about the structures of a bone. It is more than just the cushion of the fat because if you're lifting weights and you have muscle tissue around that bone, which by the way, tend to be people who have more protein in their diet, do tend to have more lean muscle mass as well. So if you're looking at that pound for pound, a person that would fall down who has a lot of muscle but no fat uh, still wouldn't break their bones. So not sure if that debate holds water. Um, moving next, eight, around 29,400 people ate meat, nearly 17,500 were vegetarians or vegans, and just over 8,000 were fish-eating pescatarians. And Dr. Tong said, we have found vegans had a higher risk of total fractures which results in close to 20 more cases per 1,000 people over a 10-year period who ate meat. Last little bit of words here. I know it's a lot of words. Study lead author Dam Dr. Tammy Tong and Oxford University nutritional epidemiologist said, let me say that again, Dr. Tammy Tong at Oxford University. These are not just these are not just regular run of the mill people. These are people who study for a living science that are presenting this by the way, not people who were paid for the I mean I guess per, we do have to look at where this study was funded from but do look again these are Dr. Tammy Tong at Oxford University Nutritional Epidemiology generally speaking trusted studyable source the biggest difference were hip fractures where the risk in vegans were 2.3 times higher than in people who ate meat equivalent to 15 more cases per 1000 over 10 years so I'll just put an end to it with that that's the take today the science you should know about what i do want to give the vegans their chance to have a little rebuttal to that study so i was trying to deep dive on what a vegan might say about the study and i wanted to share their words because i thought it would be unfair to only present one side of this debate so boom anti-carnist well that's kind of funny i mean their name is literally anti-carnist 
<laughs> so, you know, this person is going to be like looking for any way to, de to destroy this article of science that just came out. But I would like to just share what they said. So look who funded the study. You can find who funded the major Oxford study at the bottom of the page. Uh, I'll give you a spoiler. It's animal agriculture, and they based and they are based at Oxford University. They're called Livestock Environment and People. Well, that's because livestock environment and people run the world, and you need a major university to be able to contribute to that. That doesn't necessarily mean that the studies are corrupt, and it certainly doesn't mean that scientists in this particular group of studied fudged the evidence just because they were funded it doesn't mean that at all it's just the fact is that agriculture does bring in a lot of money and studies need to get studied somehow right so along with that following the money um so that's the reason for the study being pushed <laughs> it's no it's because it's science that came out you fool <laughs> the vegans were less likely to be obese when you're when you are overweight, this gives your bones a cushion when it comes to impact. Obviously, there isn't a ton of reason to gain weight as the negative health implications outweigh the positive cushion of your skeleton. Again, they have no proof of that. They're not talking about the lack of calcium, uh, the lack of electrolyte deposit, and getting the bone to ossify in the correct ways. This person is not mentioning any, any of that. They're only giving credit to the obesity, which is definitely not proven. However, I do agree with them. It is true that if you're obese and you were to fall, you'd be like, like have more cushion around certain sites. That is true. Uh, vegans were more likely to be physically active, and being active tends to go hand-in-hand hand with accidents compared to lounging on the sofa, I guess. I mean, if you're going to end a statement with, I guess, and this is supposed to be your strongest argument, uh, I just don't know on that one. But uh, yes, perhaps vegans are more physically active than the sedentary obese people, but Mr. Anti-Carnist, are you asking people who do CrossFit who eat meat? Are you asking people who lift weights who eat meat? Are you asking people who have a resistance training program who eat meat? No, you are not. Now, I would say this would be a more fair debate if we took vegans and people who are carnivore and then had those two groups of people do a weight training program and then feed them the same amount of calories and then have them go back and forth and then scan for whether or not the bones are healthier, then we would have a debate on our hands, right? Um, I'd, I would love to see that study. But just on the rebuttal here from this person, I'm really not seeing strong evidence that, um, I'm not really seeing strong evidence that this person has denied this study. Uh, so I don't think anti carnist is single handedly taking down Oxford with these earth shattering um, pieces of evidence that they have versus strong data of over 50,000 people. I'm not sure on that one. But anyway, that's just my take on it. So my take is this one, vegans 43% more likely to suffer bones than uh, bone broken bones than meat eaters, the Oxford study finds. You can give me your two cents on that if you'd like in the comment section in the habit roll call. Now going to check in with everybody here live and see how we are doing. Boom boom. All righty. What's going down here? Good morning, Miss Evelyn Price. Day 85, no sugar, over 6 grams. Got my stretches in. Kettlebell swings, clean and lifts done. Hip exercises done. Have a great day. Boom. Mr. Baron Adams. Weight is 202 this morning. Squats will be 14. Eating has been an 8 out of 10. Last night, wife and I prepared the turkey breast for Thanksgiving. Love preparing me some boobies with our sugar-free dry rub. Also, little man and I plan to go skiing. Oh, by the way, everybody, did you read that? Did you pay attention? He said sugar-free dry rub, working to keep his Thanksgiving as healthy as he can. Also, little man and I plan on going skiing. Look at that. More physical activity from somebody who's not a vegan. What a ridiculous claim. Just because a person is vegan means they're going to be more active. Get out of here with that. Thanksgiving morning then, come home and chow down. That's how we do it, baby. Everybody's getting it in with the live check-ins. Thank you so much. Now we're going to move over to the habit roll call of the day. Boom. Made it to the habit roll call live. Good gravy. It's almost Thanksgiving time, everybody. I hope you're all ready for your Thanksgiving. How exciting get to eat the bird the bird is the word i hope you're all finding great deals and hanging with your family and being safe good morning it's okay i'm human yes i am day 84 but she's already on day 85 so we're gonna knock that one out she lost another pound how about that 
How about that? Miss Evelyn killing her goals slowly and surely. One pound is dropping at a time, which is exactly how we want to do it. Protein for today was 145. Evelyn Price watched your comedy roast. Very funny. You did a great job. Thank you, Miss Evelyn. Sammy, where do you watch the roast? Uh Uh-oh. I got to share the YouTube link. Uh, Sammy, I watched his YouTube link above. Once it ends, it comes up there. I clicked on it and was able to see his. Very funny. Oh, well, thank you, Miss Evelyn. I appreciate the kind words. Tracy Warner Hawkman, day 85, walked and stuffed to 50 stockings, getting closer to getting everything done for the holidays. That's awesome. I know, right, Chantel? I haven't gotten started on my holiday prep either. But you have stuffed 50 stockings, so nice job. Look at you guys. You guys are out there crushing it. Walked and stuffed 50 stockings, getting closer to getting everything done. Nice job getting your walks in and uh, getting your holiday seasonal stuff out of the way miss tracy i know in the past you had been working on meal prep i'd love to know if you're still working on the meal prep and if that system is working for you if not what might be some obstacles that you were facing there i'd like to talk more about that because meal prep is one of my favorite topics matt bailey hey yo 27 push-ups 27 crunches with seven excuse me with 12 second ice blast and 12 supermans oh he's adding in some supermans baby superman that hoe brian warren hi we got our circuit in with hip thrusters banded farmers walks dead bugs bicep curls tricep pull downs two sets 12 reps boom mr brian is dealing with a little bit of plantar fasciitis in his foot again uh he's got even had to put a little boot on so we feel for you mr brian i hope things are going well I hope at least that recovers fast so we can get you back onto the ground. Samantha White, gym again. I plan to go daily after work. I did a little more lifting today. She's back in it. Didn't go too crazy because my arms are feeling a little sore. That's the move. Take your time. Planning to relax and stretch a little more once I get home. Mid-morning snack was a cup of stoke cold brew coffee with a caramel protein shake. Boom. Yes. The caramel protein is becoming a movement. That's a part of what I'm talking about is caramel protein. If I had my own protein company, caramel would definitely be one of the main flavors. That's for darn sure. Baron Adams' weight was 202 this morning. Squats with 13. Eating was 9 out of 10. So he did a little bit better the day before than he did yesterday with his eating. But 8 out of 10 is still going to get him pretty close to his goals, but not quite to the six-pack. So it just depends on where we're trying to get. Mike Wassman, day 48 of reading, day 28 of PT. Day 19 of English teaching prep and 11 kettlebell deadlifts. Look at that. Back on the move. John P. Smith, Jr., day 6, low plank, 35 seconds. Tomorrow's goal, 40 seconds. Dude, John is such a freaking superstar. I got to give him another Kool-Aid guy. Oh, yeah. Because he's, he's killing it. Sammy welcomes the new members. Day 72, chest tricep workout, quick Mile walk with my dog, jogged 4.2 miles on the treadmill, foam roll, and stretched 35 second plank. Boom. Miss Sammy, I know I keep we keep uh, missing each other. This week I'm here 100% for you for a video chat so we can talk about how your caloric retraining is going and everything else on that. I know I had some thoughts. It's been a week and I've already forgotten what those thoughts were. Um, live check-in also from Baron Adams here. We're going to scoop the dupe back over. Oh, never mind. I already did that live check-in. I guess we got it. Cool. So with that, the news you can use here, the science you should know about, we're talking about the vegans versus the meat eaters. Not really. I hate putting it that way. We're all on the same team, everybody. It doesn't have to be mean. It doesn't have to be violent. But the science that did come out was that vegans were 43% more likely to suffer broken bones than meat eaters. In that Oxford study, you can debate me on that if you want. Send me some evidence that says the otherwise. I'm an open-minded person. I'm not saying that this is the end-all, be-all study. You know, I'm just saying it's another one for team meat, and you know that I'm on that team. So (laughs) I'm just putting it out there as data. Um, If you're an ethical vegan, if that's the reason, you know, I support that completely fully. But if you're coming to me with arguments about meat being bad for your heart and it's bad for your body... I say flummox to you on that. Flummox to you. All right, everybody. I'm Trainer Steve. This has been another one. Stick to it to get to it. I'm out.